Oh hi guys, welcome back to Welsh Beast. 4 nil. Halifax nil, Wrexham 4. What a win. What a result. 4 bloody nil. They had to win. They simply had to win. And what a score. Brilliant stuff. Breathtaking. You know, they've come back from the dead. We are in the month of death, as I say. April is the month of death. Wrexham are playing rival after rival after rival. All good teams. And they'd lost three in a row. After Stockport, they were finished. Second half against Stockport, they were gone. They were done, it was over. You know? And they didn't deserve to lose three in a row. They could have gotten something against North County and Torquay. They could have won both games. I mean, they could easily have four more points. They played so well in both games. Didn't take the chances. Losing to a last minute goal against Torquay. Both games were 1-0. And Wrexham played really well. I mean, undeserved defeats. And against Stockport, they started brilliantly. They were on fire. They were absolutely on fire against Stockport. First 10 minutes. Stockport couldn't live with them. They were all over them. Brilliant stuff. I'm watching it thinking, they're going to do them here. And when Stockport scored against the runner play, that just knocked the life out of them. And the second goal, which was a good goal, great football for the second goal, just finished them off. They were dead. I mean, I do want to see Rex and Parappa fight and react better to go in behind, but I can't really blame them. You know, two and a half games and they've, you know, had the life just knocked out of them. Losing games they didn't deserve to lose. Playing well and losing. You know, the performances have been there. The quality's there. As it, as it, as it has been for three months. They just did not get the rub of the green in certain games. So they had to win against Halifax. There was simply no excuse. Just win by any means necessary. And they did. 4-0. Hat-trick for Davis. Brilliant hat-trick. Variety of goals. You know, and he scored a goal at the near post again from a corner, which he's done before against Bromley, I think. Anger scored as well. Good little player. Doesn't score enough. Misses a lot of chances, but he gets the chances. You know, that's encouraging to see. He's a fast player. Very creative, very lively. You know, I know Oma Tomeo, is it? Is that his name? I keep learning the name to try and say it right. But what a signing. He played really well. Fitted in well there as a replacement for Thomas and Pondicelli. These signings since January have been fantastic. Angus, French. You know, Marsh Brown against Stockport. He played well to begin with. But like the rest of the team, you know, just, it just faded away. It was difficult. But these signings since January have been fantastic. Whoever's recruited them deserves, you know, big respect. But uh, this squad is looking decent. And beating Halifax 4-0 is what they've been capable of. This is what they've been doing and how they've been playing for months. Those few defeats, or those couple of defeats, you know, make it look worse than it is. But again, we're at the... We're at the time of the season where points mean prizes. You've just got to get the points now. And that's what they had to do against Halifax. Brilliant performance though. Brilliant result. Halifax did play well themselves. Second half, they came on strong. Could have scored themselves. Perhaps should have had a goal. Was it in? Probably. But Wrexham are well organised, disciplined. And a brilliant result. Wrexham are now at 7th. They've gone above Halifax in the promotion spots, the playoff spots. 
the two points from Chesterfield in fifth. Both Chesterfield and County have games in hand. Seventh is probably the best they can hope for now, which is a shame. A couple of weeks ago, they were looking at automatic promotion. That was realistic. You know, it's fallen apart since then for a number of reasons. You know, injury problems. Thomas, their best player in recent months, out. But like I said, good replacements come in. Undeserved defeats. You know, tough games, the month of death. All have contributed. Now Wrexham are really looking at seventh, the last place. And it's going to be tight up there. Bromley are sniffing round. Eastleigh are they. All these teams are playing each other though. Some results went Wrexham's way on Tuesday night. Some didn't. But they've got to beat Woking on Saturday. 12.30 kickoff now. They've got to keep this going against Woking. Three games left in the month for death. They've got to play Chesterfield. That simply must win by any means. Just win. Don't care how. Chesterfield have got a couple of tough games as well. I think they play Eastleigh. Who are 10th. Three points Ben Wrexham. I think they play Eastleigh or somebody like that. Like I said, they're playing each other, these teams, as well. So, Wrexham are back. They're back from the dead. 4-0 against Halifax. Brilliant stuff. Keep her up against... Walking, great stuff. And also, before I finish, more good news. Wrexham have received a hundred grand financing in funding from the Welsh Government. It's what they deserved. It's what they should have had months ago. Forget this nonsense about rich owners. Well, I suppose it's not nonsense. Brilliant stuff, isn't it? But Wrexham have got rich owners, but they deserved this money months ago. You know, it's going to be important to the club. It'll be used for vital, you know, uh, actions and activities. It's what the club needs. Wrexham are back. Walking Saturday. Must win again. Cheers, guys. I'll see you soon.